good morning students so let us continue with our digital electronic class so in the previous classes we have talked about the boolean function we have talked about the logic gates and we have designed two types of boolean functions f1 and f2 in today's class we are going to continue with our function f3 so f3 we need to simplify we need to solve that function by using truth table so we are taking f3 so this is what we will be having the boolean functions we have considered so by using the boolean function f3 is given as x bar y bar z plus x bar y z plus x y bar so this function we need to simplify for truth table so these three functions whatever the functions they gave you that function we can solve by using two methods one method is by truth table method second one by using the hardware design that means by using the logic gates we can do it so we'll i'll show you this or four functions based upon logic gates and based upon this truth table so let us continue with the function so in that how many variable actually it is it is since we are using three three values x y z so this three we are considering and we want to design it so since it is three inputs we will be having x y z the combination for that will be 0 0 0 0 since it is what 2 power 0 this is 2 power 1 this is 2 power 2 so we have taken all these inputs combination 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 that means 0 1 this is 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 plus 2 plus 4 make it as 7 so now as per these conditions we required we will be having three terms in it so we need to simplify these three terms first for doing this thing what i am doing first thing i am taking x bar so x bar means it's a complement of x so what is x value here over here is 0 that would be 1 so again it will be 0 this i can make it as 1 again it will be 0 this will be 1 0 it will be 1 so now four times once we had we can write four times zeros to it so we did x bar similarly we need to write for y bar because in the first term we required x bar y bar so for that the reason we are going for finding the y bar so what is y bar value 2 times 0 that means it will become complement 2 times 1 again 2 times 1 it will become 2 times 0 again it will be 2 times 0 it will be make it as 2 times once again it will be 2 times once it will become 2 times zeros so that's how we got y bar next thing we need to write for x bar into y bar so we need to write that x bar into y bar for doing this thing we need to multiply this two so 1 into 1 it will be 1 Again, one into one it will be one. One into zero it will be zero. One into zero it will be zero. This also will be zero. This one into zero it will be zero. Zero into zero it will be zero. Zero into zero it will be again zero. Similarly, we need to multiply x bar y bar with what is the first term we have? We had z. So we need to look into z column as well as this column. So these two columns we have to multiply. So in order to do that one, what we are doing? We are taking these two parts. So zero into one it will be zero. Again, this one into one. So we are taking z and this function. It will become one. So again, this two zero into zero it will be zero. Again, the z into this one into zero it will be zero. Zero into zero it will be zero. One into zero it will be zero. All will be zero except this term. So we found the first term. We simplified. Similarly, x bar already we found. We need to just multiply with y. So that's the reason the second next column would be. x bar with y so we are making column for it so we made it all the columns so now what is x bar value we have this one and we need to multiply with y so 0 into 1 it will be 0 so 0 into 1 it will be 0 again this x bar and y so 1 into 1 it will be 1 1 into 1 it will be 1 0 into 0 it will be 0 0 into this number whatever the functions we are using this y bar so 0 into 0 it will be again 0 so 1 into 0 it will be 0 so 1 into 0 it will be 0 so what we have seen we have seen x bar and we have seen y so 0 into 1 it will be 0 likewise we had next this two columns this terms completely and this one x bar by looking into it we can write 0 into 1 it will be 0 likewise 0 into 1 it will be 0 1 into 1 it will be 1 1 into 1 it will be 1 likewise 0 into 0 it will be 0 0 into 0 likewise all will be 0 since we are multiplying so we got the this two part we need to multiply that part with z z means this is the function so this column and this column we have to consider for doing this thing so 0 into 0 it will be 0 
so 1 into 0 it will be 0 so again we had z so 0 into 1 it will be 0 then 1 into 1 it will be 1 since we are looking into z and this one similarly next would be for z 0 into 0 it will be 0 since all are zeros so we may get 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this function also we found next we had x and y bar so we had x function this column and we do have this y bar so over here we had y bar so this two we need to consider this part and this one so what we'll do 0 into 1 it will be 0 so what is the easiest way since all fours are zeros so definitely you'll get all will be 0 since we are multiplying now we had all four are ones here so next for y bar so what is the y bar over there y bar this two is one that means next two will get one because one into one make it as one again one into one make it as one similarly since this two y value we had zero so that would be zero so we what we wrote it this two are zeros that we written after getting this term one plus term two plus term three we can write the boolean function f3 so that's how we wrote f3 by considering this term one term two this is our term one so by taking this term one this is term two this is term three so addition means if any one of the bit is high output would be high so what is the term one we had here zero plus zero plus zero so obviously it will be zero next one 1 plus 0 plus 0 it would be 1 again this 0 plus 0 plus 0 it would be 0 so we are looking into this column this column and this column so next would be 0 plus 1 plus 0 it would be 1 likewise we had next 0 plus 0 plus 1 it would be 1 this also would be 1 now look this term 0 all are zeros so obviously you will get these two are zeros so that's how your function whatever the function we are considering that f3 functions we have found its truth table method the same designing we can implement by considering its functionality so for doing this thing functionality we have to use f3 function and by using the boolean function we can design it for taking the boolean function f3 we had the function we need to write its f4 for writing the f4 first thing we have to take x and y bar let us see the functions boolean functions f1 f2 f3 and f4 in the previous in the previous uh, topic we have covered these f1 f2 f3 f4 by using truth table now by using the logic gates we need to design these boolean functions so for the first function f1 is equals to x y and z bar so in this one we are going for vertical approach for doing this thing what we'll do it we'll take this function so this one i'm taking the vertical designing so in this first thing we need to go for f1 is equals to x y and z bar this is given so for that how many inputs we required so we required three inputs because it contain x y and z for doing these things i'll take first input as x second input as y and the next input as z so as per this z bar so i need to connect one what is the basic gates we had we had first one we discuss about and we discuss about or and we discuss not so these three are our basic gates so what is and functionality if you do have a and b so we need to multiply a into b so that is our first and gate similarly if i do have a and b so or gate function would be a plus b likewise if i do have not gate if i am having a input i can write a bar so similarly as per this i required bar that means i need to use one not gate for doing this thing i am connecting one not gate so this is z that means this is become z bar so now all these two terms i can use two types of and gate so what i am doing it first i need to multiply x and y so what i am doing i am taking one input from x another input from y so i'm connecting one and gate so this is the first will become x and y similarly i need to multiply with z bar so what i'm doing i'm taking one more i'm multiplying with z bar so till now what is the function over here so we are taking this is your x and y so what is the output of this one x into y likewise we have z bar so here is z bar so if we multiply with all those things so it will become x y z bar 
So by taking two two single inputs, we can design in this way. If you want to take all these three at once, like x, y, and z bar, three inputs you can combine and you can connect with one AND gate. So this is the basic one. They'll give you for two marks to design this function by using our basic gates. Similarly, for doing the second function. So now see the second function f2 is equals to x plus y bar z. In this also we had three inputs x, y and z. So for doing this thing we required three inputs. Again we are using one as x, another as y and one more as z. So in this we had bar for y. So we need to connect one not gate. So what is the output for this? It would be y bar. So over here first thing x is single input and next y and z bar is multiplied. So what is the multiplication of these two? If you had two inputs, if you want to multiply, we need to connect one and get. For doing this thing, what we are doing? We are taking y bar and z connection. So we'll take one y bar, we'll take one z. So we connect with one and get. So what is the output for this? We can write as y bar and we can write as z. So now this term is done. Now we need to add. For adding this thing, what we have to do? We have to take a, b. We need to add. Add means we need to connect one OR gate. For doing this thing, we'll connect one OR gate. So for doing this, what, what I'll do it? I'll take one input from x. And already we had this one. So we'll take this one and we'll try to connect one OR gate. So what is our input value over here? We can write input as x. So what is the function f2? So f2 is the output, which is the both addition. So x plus y bar and z. So that's how we have implemented your f2 function by using the basic logic gate. So since we have taken one not gate, we have taken one and one or. So by using three gates, we have designed our f2 function. So likewise, we can design the f3. So for designing f3, what we'll do it? We'll take same functions, so f3, we can write over here. So f3 is equals to x bar y bar z plus x bar y z plus x y bar. For doing this, what we'll do it? We'll take one input. So better we'll draw over here. So what is our f3 function? f3 is equals to x bar y bar z plus x bar y z plus x y bar. So in this f3 we had three terms over here. So this three terms we need to consider. So again since we are using three inputs x, y and z. So we need to draw three vertical lines. So since we are dealing with vertical approach. So we will take three inputs. We gave the name as x y and z. So as per the question we required x bar as well as we required y bar. So we connect with one NOT gate. So in this, so we are using one NOT gate for x bar. Again we are using one more NOT gate for y bar. So this output of that would be here x bar, here is y bar. So the, in this one what we had, we had three inputs. Three inputs we can multiply. So what is the first connection we should take? We can take from x bar, next from y bar and one more input directly we can connect from z bar. So if you want to multiply, we have to connect with AND gate. That is a first term. Similarly for second term, first input is from x bar. So if you are taking from first input, it is x bar. Similarly second is from y. So this is your y connection. Next is from z. So this is your z connection. So by taking these three connections, again we can connect with one. AND gate. Likewise, we had next term x and y bar. For x and y bar, what we'll do it? We'll take the inputs from x. Again, we'll take from y bar. So this is our y bar. We'll take these two inputs. So we need to go for addition of all. For doing addition, first of all, we'll write its output value till here. What is the value over there? We have connected with x bar. That is the first connection. Second is from y bar. So since it is y bar, so we wrote it y bar. Next is from z. So since this connection is from z. That is the first input output value for this AND gate. 
नेक्स्ट वुड बी एक्स बार सो वी हैव कनेक्टेड वन एक्स बार नेक्स्ट इज वाई एंड जेड सो दिस इज योर वाई कनेक्शन सो दिस इज योर वाई नेक्स्ट इज फ्रॉम जेड सो दिस इज योर जेड वैल्यू सो जेड ओ ईयर सो वी नीड टू टेक फ्रॉम जेड सो जेड इज फ्रॉम दिस एंड सो वी हैव कनेक्टेड एंड वी रोड इट जेड वैल्यू सो वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू गिव कनेक्शन वी नीड टू पुट अ प्रॉपर नॉट proper dots we need to mention over there so similarly we had x value so x we are connecting here next we had y bar so since we are connecting with not gate so this is become y bar so till now we done with first term second term and third term so now we need to club all this for clubbing this thing what we'll do we'll try to connect one or gate so this is your function f3 output so which is addition of all these three inputs so this is where we have designed one function of f3 by using f3 we are taking the inputs as per the given condition so we required x bar so we have connected one not gate we required y bar we have connected one more not gate and by using this three since we have we need to multiply this term so we have taken three and gate likewise to add this thing we have connected one or gate so this is the way we can design our function boolean function and we can write its output by using the truth table also you can do it if the if they in exam if they ask the question to design our function by using truth table we can go for the previous approach if they have asked to design by using the logic gates we can use this approach now go for last function f4 so look at here students we will be having f4 that is also boolean function so by using this f4 they gave one expression that x y bar plus x bar z again since they have given a z value over here so we have to use three inputs if at all they gave x y bar plus x bar y then only two variable is enough so since they gave this z value so we need to use three inputs so again we are going for vertical approach so we'll design that layout by giving the term name as x y and z so as per this expression we required y bar and x bar both so for doing this thing what we'll do it we'll take one x bar by connecting one not gate so this is what x bar output similarly you want to get the y bar for doing this thing what we'll do we'll we'll connect one more not gate so what is the output for this it's a y bar now we need to multiply this thing so for multiplying this what we'll do it we'll connect with one and gate so what is the value over here we had x and we do have y bar so we have taken connection we connected with one and gate similarly we had the next one x bar and z so we take x bar connection and we have taken z again we'll connect with one more and gate so we got this term and this term so what is the output over here so we can write first one x and y bar so this is the output of x and y bar similarly what is the output for this one we can write we had x bar and we had z so we can write x bar and z so we need to add since the operator over here is plus so that means we need to connect with or gate for that one we are taking one two inputs and we are connecting with one or gate so this is our function f4 so f4 can be obtained by adding this two so what is the f4 expression we can write f4 is equals to or output is equals to x y bar plus x bar z so your function f4 can be implemented by using this two and gate and one or gate so this is the way you need to design your functions of boolean for given respective functions so in in this next class i'll going to explain you in detail how to design by using the universal gates and some more examples we will see in the next class for today's class revise all this functions and the truth table thank you